there are some discoveries in space that make scientists pause and then rethink everything they thought they knew. One of those discoveries is so massive, so far beyond what current models can explain, it's forcing astronomers to confront a question they never expected. Could the universe be hiding something that breaks our fundamental laws of physics? Now, when we talk about big in space, we're not talking about stars or even galaxies. We're talking about a structure so gigantic it stretches across 10 billion light years. To put that in perspective, that's almost a tenth of the observable universe, made up of clusters of galaxies, threads of cosmic matter and ancient light. It's called the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, and according to our current understanding, it simply shouldn't exist. The discovery of this colossal formation shook the foundations of modern cosmology, because if something this large can exist, then one of our most trusted assumptions about the universe, the idea that it's uniform and evenly distributed on a large scale, might be completely wrong. So what is this structure? How was it found? And why does it terrify cosmologists? Let's explore the largest thing ever discovered and why it just might break the universe. When we think of large structures in space, we usually imagine things like spiral galaxies, star clusters, or maybe vast nebulae stretching across a few hundred light years. But that's nothing compared to what astronomers call large scale structures. The truly colossal formations that span billions of light years and shape the very framework of the universe. One of the most mind blowing examples is the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall. Discovered in 2013, this enormous formation spans an estimate 10 billion light years in length. It's made up of galaxy superclusters, which are themselves made of clusters which are made up of galaxies. In short, it's a structure of structures, cosmic scaffolding on a scale that's hard to comprehend. What's even more surprising is how it was discovered. Scientists weren't looking at galaxies directly. Instead, they were mapping gamma ray bursts, explosions so bright they can be seen across the universe. These bursts typically come from massive star collapsing into black holes in distant galaxies. By analyzing the redshifts of dozens of GRBs, astronomers noticed a strange pattern. A large concentration of bursts all coming from a similar distance and area in the sky. That clustering suggested there was an enormous grouping of galaxies in that region. But the size? That's what caught everyone off guard. It was so big, it dwarfed any known supercluster, challenging what astronomers thought was possible under the laws of cosmic expansion and structure formation. And the Great Wall isn't alone. Similar formations like the Sloan Great Wall, the Giant Arc and the Boots Void are forcing astronomers to reevaluate the cosmic map. To understand why structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are so controversial, we need to talk about one of the most important and rarely questioned assumptions in all of cosmology, the cosmological principle. This principle is the foundation of modern astronomy. It states that on a large enough scale, the universe is both homogeneous and isotropic. In simpler terms, it means the universe looks the same way in every direction and has roughly the same composition everywhere, no matter where you are in it. It's like baking a cosmic cake. Sure, there might be chocolate chips or swirls here and there, but if you zoom out far enough, it all blends into one smooth butter. This idea is crucial because it allows astronomers to create models of the universe that are predictable and mathematically consistent. The Big Bang Theory, cosmic inflation and even the structure of the cosmic microwave background, all of it relies on the assumption that the universe isn't wildly uneven. But here is the problem. Massive structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are so large, they suggest that universe isn't as smooth as we thought. Even when zoomed way out, they challenge the idea that everything averages out on the largest scales. And that's not just a technical glitch. If the cosmological principle breaks down, it means our entire framework for understanding the universe might be incomplete. Or worse, wrong. It would be like realizing that Earth isn't round centuries after planning everything around it. Now that we know what the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall is, and how it clashes with the cosmological principle, the next question is, why exactly shouldn't something this big exist? The answer lies in the physics of structure formation in the universe. After the Big Bang, the early universe was incredibly hot and dense, filled with tiny fluctuations in matter and energy. 
Over billions of years, those fluctuations under the influence of gravity formed the first stars, galaxies and eventually clusters. But gravity only had a limited amount of time to work with, and the universe has been expanding the entire time, stretching everything apart. Because of that expansion, cosmologists calculate that there is a maximum size any structure can reach, given the age of the universe. The number most cosmologists agree on is about 1.2 billion light years. Anything larger than that isn't supposed to have enough time to form through standard gravitational processes, not without breaking the known rules. So when a structure like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall appears, spanning up to 10 billion light years, it throws a wrench into the entire framework. It's not just bigger, it's nearly 10 times bigger than what our models say it's possible. Some astronomers have compared this to finding a skyscraper in the middle of the desert where you didn't even think materials existed. It suggests either something's wrong with your map or there is a process at work that you haven't accounted for. Could dark matter or dark energy be playing a role we don't yet understand? Could the early universe have behaved differently than we thought? Or is it possible that this structure is just an illusion? Clusters that only appear connected because of projection or sampling errors? Right now, no one has a definitive answer. But one thing is clear. If structures like this are real, the universe is far more complex and far more mysterious than we ever imagined. As mind-blowing as these structures are, not every scientist is convinced they are real in the way they appear on the cosmic map. That's because confirming something on the scale of the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall isn't as simple as just spotting it in a telescope. It's built from data, lots of it, and how the data is collected and interpreted can make all the difference. The biggest challenge in confirming massive structures like this lies in a method of discovery. Most of these formations are not directly observed like a galaxy through a telescope. They are inferred from patterns in things like gamma-ray bursts, quasar distributions or redshift surveys. In the case of Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall, scientists notice an unusually high concentration of gamma-ray bursts in a specific region of space. That pattern hinted at a larger underlying structure, but it's still based on statistical clustering, not a photograph. Some cosmologists argued that this may be a coincidence or data anomaly. After all, when you're working with enormous distances and limited sampling, false positives can occur. The data might just reflect a temporary cluster or even observational bias. Others argue that the detection methods aren't consistent enough to definitively prove the structure is a singular, connected entity. On the other hand, researchers like Istvan Horvath and his team stand by the findings. They believe the clustering is too significant to be random. Moreover, it aligns with similar discoveries like the Giant Ark and the Sloan Great Wall, suggesting that we might be seeing a pattern, one that challenges our basic assumptions. This tension between cautious skepticism and paradigm shift in evidence is exactly how science moves forward. Whether these structures hold up under scrutiny or not, they force in astronomers to ask better questions, refine the tools, and possibly rewrite the limits of what the universe is allowed to do. If the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall and similar structures like the Giant Ark are confirmed to be real, they could have profound implications for cosmology, starting with the possibility that one of our core assumptions about the universe is flat out wrong. The cosmological principle which assumes the universe is homogeneous and isotropic on the large scales is the foundation of nearly every modern cosmological model. It's what allows scientists to simulate the early universe, track expansion and interpret the cosmic microwave background. If that principle breaks down, if the universe isn't the same in all directions, then many of our equations suddenly stop working. It's like realizing you've been building a house on a slanted foundation. This could mean we need new physics to explain the large-scale structure of the universe. Some researchers have speculated that these massive structures might be relics from a time before inflation. A period in the early universe when space expanded faster than the speed of light. Others have even floated ideas tied to multiverse theory or anisotropic models, where different parts of the universe might have evolved under slightly different conditions. Then there is dark matter and dark energy the mysterious forces that make up most of the universe's content. Could they be shaping structure in ways we don't yet understand? Could these megastructures be signposts pointing toward new properties of space-time itself? There is also a philosophical angle. The bigger and more structured the universe appears, the less random it seems. 
That raises questions about fine-tuning, cosmic design and our place in all of this. In short, these gigantic formations could signal that we are standing at the age of new era in cosmology. One where our models no longer fit the data. And the universe is far stranger, more dynamic and more interconnected than we ever imagined. So where does all of this leave us? If structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are real, they don't just stretch across the universe, they stretch the limits of our understanding. They challenge the assumptions that have underpinned cosmology for decades, forcing us to ask uncomfortable but exciting questions. What if the universe isn't as uniform as we thought? What if gravity, dark matter or even time itself behaves differently on scales we've never fully explored? Whether these megastructures are confirmed or not, one thing is clear. They've ignited a fresh wave of discovery. Scientists are refining models, reanalyzing data and designing new methods to test just how far the universe can go in assembling matter. And that's the beauty of science. Every mystery, every contradiction, every anomaly is a chance to look deeper. It also reminds us that the universe is still full of surprises. No matter how advanced our instruments become, space keeps showing us things we've never expected. Maybe that's the most exciting part, realizing that no matter how much we think we know, the cosmos always has more to teach us. And if that's not worth exploring, what is? If this video left you wondering how something that massive could even exist, you are not alone. Astronomers are still debating it and the science is far from settled. So here's the questions I want to leave you with. Do you think structures like the Hercules Corona Borealis Great Wall are real? Or are we looking at patterns our brains and maybe even our telescopes are just interpreting as connected? Let's talk about it in the comments. Whether you've got a theory, a question or just want to nerd about how insane the scale of the universe is, I'm here for it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss what's coming next. We've got more deep dives on cosmic mysteries, strange discoveries and the questions science hasn't answered yet. The universe is still full of surprises and we are just getting started. Thanks for watching, keep looking up.